What are you guys, what are you guys doing? What are, hey guys, what are you doing? You having a party and you're not inviting me? Ah, oh, come on, seriously? Come on. There you go. That was very rude. Crazy guys and girls and fellow gamers, my name is Games for Cakes and welcome back to Miss Survival. We have made it at the end of the last episode to the big city. We're gonna have a look around it. The fog is coming in. It should be very interesting. I hope you guys are gonna have a good time watching the episode. If you do, remember to kick that like button in the box to support the channel. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. So let's get started. This is the motel that we actually have also on the main road of um, the main map. And it seems to be pretty much set up the same way. These rooms are pretty empty. There's nothing in it. Um, the only thing I'm really looking for loot-wise is plugs because they save me a lot of hassle. And oh, here we go. Here we go. So if we can lock ourselves into the bathroom and sleep through the mist, that would be absolutely amazing because there's already loads of infected in this game. <laughs> I don't know if there is actually infected in here. There used to be up there in the other one, but it seems to be just an open door with nothing in it. So let's have a quick look. No, there's nothing in it. Is there a door here? There is no door. I wonder if we could risk sleeping here. Let, let's risk it. Let's risk it. Well, we're not really risking it. We're saving. <laughs> so let's see if we can sleep here. So two hours should be enough. Let's see. Oh, we can hear them. Are they coming up the stairs? Are they going to kill us? No. Okay. Now, oh, it's over? Yes. Now we have to be careful, it is evening time, but there is bandits in this town. The town isn't fully implemented yet when it comes to buildings. We're actually gonna give it a quick save. Um, when it comes to buildings, you can see they're all empty. There's not really made much use for it. I think there's a few buildings over there which are implemented. We looked at one of them already at the end of the last episode. But we have to be careful because there is bandits in this town. There you go, you can see them roaming over there. And we really wanna be careful because they could be coming around any corner, really. Well, let's go here through the dark alley. And see there's oh nice what is this like a church or something let's have a quick look into there let's make very sure that we don't come across any bandits because i don't know exactly what their path is here in this town oh this church looks lovely <laughs> oh it's like a small building <laughs> it's not it's not it's i don't know oh it actually is rendered on some parts hang on a second oh that looks weird it only has one side of textures but hey that's what i mean by it's not really fully implemented yet yeah, can't. there's no door. No invisible door, nothing. Okay, there's no bandits over here. So let's have a look and go through these shops here and see if we can find any loot. Now, the only loot I'm really interested in right now is planks, as I said. So to save myself the hassle of cutting down trees and... Um... Okay, there's definitely something nearby. I would say maybe in here. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. Okay, that one took a while. Not sure how I missed that exactly. Okay, I got him. Okay, he got me once, but I'm okay. My health is okay. I think that's it. I don't think there's anybody else. Um, I don't think we need... I keep one of them just in case. Okay, we're not really interested in any of that, oddly enough. We're interested in the wood chippings. Can I open this door? No. So let's be very careful just in case there's another one around here. Oh, look at that. There's a bow. It's a long bow. I have my own long bow. So yeah, that one is crappy quality. Let me see. There's actually a few of them. No, crappy quality. Okay, we're going to have to throw it over here. No, you're no good. That's the multi-spot issue that I created for myself. 3.2. No, don't like it. Come on. 100% coming in. No, 3.1. What is it with the 3.1? Okay, let's, let's pick them all up. Uh, 4.1, 4.6. No, you're, you're all loser bows, okay? Look at that. That's how you should be stacking up nicely beside each other. Is there any wood in here? No. No wood planks? Oh, we got it. What do we got here? Oh, yes. We're going to take that because salt is how we're going to make the meat. And this is how we're going to make the drink. So we're going to take that up with us. And what do we have here? Axe. We don't really need an axe. A cola. Well, at least have one because we are quite thirsty. So we should have at least one. There we go. And it's at 26%. So there you go. Very good. And, oh, what is in here? Nice. Bullets are always welcome. Always loving the bullets. There you go. And I think that's it for this shop. Let's go and have another look if we can find more. I don't expect to find a lot of lootable places in this town, like I said, because it is not officially implemented. So a few things are probably not even working yet. Okay, there's a shop here or a bar of some sort. Let's close it. 
see if we can find any wood planks in here let's turn the light on there's all metal scraps no wood planks let me just pick them up to see if there's any wood planks hiding underneath no okay so we're gonna well, we're gonna keep them i definitely don't need the metal scraps if i pick up anything um in place of wood chippings it's the toolboxes because they take forever to find there we go we have some salt oh my balls look at that 13 salt very nice okay we have more sugar here they're stuck in bunches of eight so we might actually get rid of one what do we have here okay just more toolboxes no wood okay no wood planks at all here i'm afraid there we go let's throw that out and what else do we have here let me see there's nothing behind can we loot any of here no this is some sugar and some salt and that's it so this is like a fry kitchen or something like a burger place or whatever let's see what's upstairs we don't have any friends upstairs oh that looks like there might be wood nope any wood here nope let's see what we have here nope 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 oh it goes upstairs even further nice let's see what we have here in the corner Okay, there's nothing here. But these type of things are great. I really wish that some of the base building was more... Like, that you could claim anything as your base. I wish every building would have the option to say, Yeah, make this my base. You know, where you could spawn and everything. Because some of these buildings... And that you could clear up some of that. I don't know, can you actually? Let me see. No, you can't. I wish everything was destructible inside a building. Like the rubbish, you could clean up the floor and you could make it like your own base. I mean, if they even could add painting, like, you know, at some point. I know I'm just, I'm not saying for them to do it. I'm just saying it would be awesome to have the feature where you could say, yeah, I want to paint the walls, you know, I want to paint the floor. I want to make that my base and it's going to be where I live. But again, I don't know what the plans are actually in the game for progression in the sense that for all I know, they might actually say, no, base building is not that important actually because we want you to get through the story and there will actually be an end. There will actually be like an ultimate made them like a time limit where like say certain things will come attack you and after a certain amount of days the end game is there and that's it so making a permanent base like that might not even be possible because time will just move on around you if you know what i mean so i don't know what the plans are for the game in that sense so i know the features that they want to add but i don't know law wise what it is they're actually looking at and um beginning of the game mid game and end game what their plans are you know for progression in that sense this is another one of those apartment blocks we had before the same building they are probably upstairs yeah there's two doors here one over there and one here let's see okay got him all clear okay nice i'm gonna loot this place up in a second no need for you guys okay so let me close this door and i think i have a crowbar do i have a lock pick no but i think i have a crowbar yes oh nice what do we have in here some lockers oh nice excuse me some ammunition very good always bring loads of ammunition man and yes we could eat that that would be fine it's gonna be night soon i don't know actually if the infected are the infected can come out at night so if they if they are in a building they come and chase you um at night but i don't know if they spawn at night if you know what i mean so if we actually have some alcohol we can make another bandage i believe so let me actually just loot up here and oh nice another shotgun but our shotgun is pretty okay um, I don't think we need the extra shotgun. We'll bring it back to the car and drop it on the floor there. Um, just in case we come back. Because items do stay here in the world once you drop them. Which is pretty awesome. And we're going to pick up one of those chips. Let me loot up here. Go to the car and see if I have enough alcohol. Um, oh, there's a cock. These guys are very good to pick up. Oh, I can't pick it up. No way. What a tease. Anyway, we're going to have a look if we can make a bandage or something. Before we actually go back to the car, let's open this. And we could actually sleep on the roof here. I think that's actually pretty safe. But there could be guys in here if we can open the door oh that's a lock pick door a crowbar door at night a crowbar oh man i don't know if i should be working with a crowbar at night and who knows what waits behind that door let's try it oh nobody in here okay excellent we can close this door maybe we can even get some rest here that would be pretty awesome there is no wood planks in this whole town dude like what is going on <laughs> Can open these though oh more ammunition very nice we definitely get a lot of ammunition here guys which is always great 
because I don't think we can craft ammunition yet, but um, I hope they, they will add that soon. But again, it all depends what the action plan is for the game, if they want you to progress quickly through it or not. Let's have a rest here and see if we can get into morning. It should help us a lot. We have water. We Food-wise, I'm not sure if we have actually food, but we're gonna. I'm sure we're going to find something. Um, we're doing all right in the moment, so let's sleep for about, I would say, until about 6, 7 in the morning. And it actually works. There you go. All slept through. There should be nobody out here to pester us. I don't think there's actually any drop, any loot on the roofs. Is there? No. Okay. There we go. Let's go back to the car, but let's be very careful about this because, like I said, there is actually bandits uh, that are roaming the city and I have no idea about the actual path at the moment. Let's get this gun, actually, just in case we need a bit of a more long range. Don't need the light anymore. So let's have a look here. No, no bandits here. Very good. What was this place? Yeah, it's like a diner's in an apartment block. That's pretty awesome, though. I like that. I like the buildings that they picked. They're really nicely put together. Is there anybody? Is there somebody in our car? Or is it? Oh no, it just looked like that from the shading. All right, there's another one of those places where we can go up the stairs. So we're gonna have a look at the back of the town now, just to see the variety. I'm not gonna go into every building, but just to see the variety of buildings. At the moment, what are you guys? What are you guys doing? What? Are, hey guys, what are you doing? You having a party and you're not inviting me? Ah, oh, come on, seriously? Come on. There you go. That was very rude. I already looted here, man. You can't just respawn where I already looted. That's like, that's like unacceptable. <laughs> what did you drop? Uh, a couple of rocks and some more ammunition. I love it. So there's no bandits here so far. What is this type of building here? This is like a warehouse. We're not going to go through all of it, but just have a quick look. Okay, this one here seems to be a warehouse. There might be some workbenches in there. Unless I see planks, I'm not interested. <laughs> oh, what is... Okay, car doesn't open. Fair enough. And we have to be careful walking through because, like I said, bandits are roaming the city. Just not sure of their path exactly. Let's have a look around here. Oh, look at that. There's a pawn shop. This, this would make like a perfect HQ, like for a bandit base. Like you would walk in here and destroy them all. And then loot the place and then take over it. That would be awesome as well if there would be like that type of thing where you could have like um, expand your territory. You know what I mean? No, nope, nothing here. Can we open this door? No, we can't. So let's have a look behind here. Okay, there's some more guys up there. We already been through these type of uh, buildings, so no need to go again. Oh, what is this shed here actually? Oh, this looks like very bandity. Oh, we can't open it. That would be awesome. Like it's a uh, weapons cache or something. That would be really, really sweet. Let's have a look around here. Nothing here. Can we open any of those doors? No. Any of this? No. Nope. Yeah, again, these are the buildings we already have seen. Nothing new here. Okay. Oh, we can actually walk through this one. Let me just quickly check. So there's a trailer park here. That could be a bandit camp. That looks that looks very bandity. Okay, here's a garage um, that could have eventually things in it, like a workbench. Okay, we have the infected up on top again. Stay in the bushes here for a second. This looks very bandity. I wonder if this is a bandit base camp. I don't see anything, but we can go in there. Ooh, I wonder what we can find in here on loose. There's a car here. Very good can't open it though not even the cars are lootable oh man this is like very raw like you know this is like probably not even being worked on right now look at this this is amazing we have like a whole full warehouse building here man the possibilities oh a little dog hatch we could sneak in snipe people from no i don't see any bandits here so this is like a i don't know something people put together once they realized the apocalypse was upon them just in case we come across some bandits. Look at this garbage floating. Yeah, it's definitely not been worked on here. Can we get up here? I think we can get up if we go up on the tires. And then, yeah. Nice. Ah, Shidam. Come on, get up the chair. There we go. Nice. I love the vaulting in this game and the pulling up. It works so well. And then what do we have on this end of the road? I think there's absolutely nothing there. I mean, there's no point um, having a map, actually, because the even the map that you find online doesn't have the city on it. It's, like, literally completely outside the map. I don't see anything here that could indicate any weapons of any kind. Nope. Okay, no planks to pick up. It's like even the items that you usually can loot are absolutely not lootable right now. So this is very raw, very early, very much not ready. But we wanted to have a good look at the city. I wanted to check it out. 
There you go. Look at that. And then over there, I'm assuming we have the end of the map. Yeah, that, that should be it. I think that's it, guys. I don't think there's more to the city than that. That's amazing. I love it. I absolutely love it. I love the way this is boxed off here in the end. You know, the city entrances or exits that you have to kind of go a certain way. The bandits have it all locked down. What is the purpose of the bandits actually in this game? I know you can say like, oh, Apocalypse always has a set of people like you want to take everything they want. But you're talking. They, I don't know. They, they, they seem to have want. Oh, they seem to want more than just being here like you know because they seem to have a special purpose here i hope they do i hope they will oh can we go into the warehouse is it open oh no anyway guys i'm gonna leave it here i hope you had a good time checking out the city with me um let me know what you think like you know the city the, the city needs some lore yeah there has to be a very important part about the city that is part of the story because eventually we're gonna have to play through a story yeah that even if it's indefinite in the sense that you can take your time and build and do what you want take over base comes but um bandit comes whatever but there has to be a lore in the game ready to pop you know when the game comes out officially after early access it says that is the intent that is what you're gonna be this is what your aim is of the game and this city must have a very big part in it, you know, where you might need to find that one thing or one person that's going to help you solve the whatever it is you have to solve. Anyway, let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys had a good time. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, feel spaz and happy gaming. This building here actually had planks. That is awesome. <laughs> Loads of planks. Pretty cool. No, there's no planks here, but we also have a lot of duct tape. Uh, I was in the warehouse that we looked at from the back. There was loads of duct tape in it. This one here. So, got loads of duct tape and we got loads of planks actually from the building right beside it, which is awesome. So, I'm going to check out the other ones as well that are open like this and see if there's any loot at all. No, there's no loot at all. But yeah, we got planks, which is awesome. That's going to help us so much.